Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, a little bit wintry. Oh, first things first, let's check this. And then you can see what we're doing. And off we go. It's a shift A. Let's, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you'll probably see in the, uh, the thumbnail what it is. Um, right, so how are we going to start this? We're going to start this with a sphere. And what we're going to do then is just go into edit. Let's just hit that. Um, and then we're going to do control alt a to remove all that. And then we're going to do go into that scene. Um, and then box, B to box, select those, delete vertices, and boom. Next thing we're going to do is select all the vertices around the top and F to fill. Um, next thing we're going to do is I, oh, we're not far enough out. I, in there, we're just going to give it some effectively some loop cuts um, as many as you like because we're going to put a whoops there we go that will do and then next thing we're going to do is hit the C button and we're just going to select all these on the around like so just select them all like that. Um, okay, and then we can just once we've got them all selected, we will get into displacements. Okay, boom, ready, boom, boom. Let's make sure we've only got the top right hits number one. And then what we're going to do is add that as a vertex group. Do so that make sure it's there. So that's that. Um, we're going to add a modifier, which is a displace. Um, new, go into texture, change it to clouds so it will be like that but what we're going to do is go back into modifier and select our group so we're not affecting the bottom piece only the top piece okay and then back into here um and then let's go back into there and just adjust the strength like that um, we're going to add another modifier, which is just the subdivision surface. Notch it up one. There we go. And then that looks like snow. Um, shade smooth. You can obviously mess about with the strength, see how you want it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm quite happy with that. All right, next thing we're going to do is create a stylized house. So create a cube, scale that right down, just bring it up. So it's sat in the snow like that. Um, what we want to do is just hit that bottom one and scale that down because let's face it a stylized house is not square <laughs> okay um, so I'm happy with that um, I'm going to do a loop cut down the center there and just select that top edge and just bring it up like so um, we're going to chuck another loop cut here and here um, and then select those ones 
and just bring it down and then control B and we can bevel and then just chuck in some segments so it gives it a nice little slant like so it may oh, what we need to do is control A and all like that hit that top one control B so it gives it a nice little edge at the top there shade smooth and we're just going to go down to normals and tick auto smooth like so now what we're going to do what I'm going to do here is add a few manual tiles so shift a I'm going to chuck in a, another cube doink uh, bring that right the way down scale that down just rotate it like so we're going to start at the bottom there just line it up as best as you can so there oh I'll tell you what we could do as well is select the house tab right so if hit faces do hit all these faces on here and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate so shift D on the Z just to take it up. We're going to press P because we want to separate this selection from the model. Um, okay, select the model, select the roof bit, go into modifier and hit on solidify. So it's given us a, a, a roof, um, but we can hit apply and then we can edit so basically what I'm going to do is just like a real roof we're going to have the overhang um, like that and then we're just going to ex oh, we don't need to extrude we can just bring it out like that and um, we'll just do the same on this side so we're just going to ex bring it out again um, well, I suppose you don't have to do that actually but we're there now and just bring it out okay and then that one just go into normal so then you'll be able to bring it down like so and then the same on this one here just to bring it out there we go and then we can just bring that down on there so we've got a nice little roof that we can put our tiles onto. Now obviously you can change the shape of the tile, you can pretty much do whatever the, the heck you want to do. So I'm just going to start off in the centre here. Like so. And then just bring it down. Okay, and then just shift D on the X. And then you can just tilt it like so. Let's just focus on that. Um, and then just keep going until you reach the top. So shift D on the X. Boom, biddy, boom. Shift D on the X. Like so. Obviously we need to start rotating them as well, shift D on the X up and rotate shift D on the X until we get to the top and rotate like so shift D on the X and just rotate that one that way kind of like that and then we can just grab all these oh, I'll tell you what we we'll do um, and then we can shift D on the Y shift D on the Y 
and then we can do one, two, three, four. Shift D on that Y. Kind of like that. And then if you select all of them, like that, just press the C button to use the selection tool, circle tool. Okay, escape to come out of that tool. And then if we go back to global, we can shift D R Z 180 and then just shove it over here like so and then you can do so do you know what we saw that in a minute um, right so now we need a doorway oh where the hell did that happen I want that shift A let's create a another cube Scale that right down and like that, and then just bring it on in. Let's just rotate it around a bit so it falls in line with the house. Okay, so there's the doorway. Now, what we're going to do is um, Control A, so all transforms. Let's edit. Let's go. Right, we need yeah, faces, and we just need to select this front face and the back face. If you're not sure, you can see all these little points, these little black dots. So select the front face and the back face, and then we can do I for inset, like so. Right click, bridge faces, tab out. And that's our doorway. And then what we can also do is if we hit uh, one for um, blah, 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 vertices, select the vertices on the front. Um, so that one there, control, uh, shift D on the Y. So we'll bring that out. And um, P to separate hit the tab so we come out and just select the edges there and now what we want to do is go into edit select all those so press alt and right left click so you select all of them press f for fill or face and then you can just scale that on the y what are we doing extrude on the y like so, so that's kind of like our door. So we take it out of the X-ray mode. We're just gonna put the um, origin to geometry. So there's our door. You can make it slightly smaller. So we're gonna edit that in a minute. Um, also, we'll have some sort of a window up here. So let's go into cylinder let's do five um, radius not point not to five and then we just want it like not point not two I don't know some random stuff like that and then rotate on the X, so 90, 90, degrees. Okay, so it's a little bit small, but what we can do, what we're gonna do first, so we'll just scale it up to a nice sort of size. Um, but first of all, I want to, select all these faces I'm going to remove these the reason is we're going to stick a light in there okay oh I didn't want to do that we're going to stick a light in there so it's got a nice a nice little internal glow 
okay so we've got all those selected on the inside as you see then again I selected on the dots we're just going to delete and we're going to delete faces we now want to select the house let's come out of x-ray mode and we're going to add a solidify um, so basically if we move this you can see the room there we've now got a bit of thickness on the walls so you can change that as thick as you like but we're just going to keep it to 0 0.01 and then just going to apply so we've got our roof already on there so that's pretty cool and now what we can do is once you're happy with the size of your window um, you can just sort of put it in there select your house go to modifier boolean select the um, object selector and select our window shape okay and then just click on apply and then hopefully there will be a hole in the window the hole where the window is going to be so now we can just make that a little bit smaller depth a little bit smaller I'm going to do control a again all transforms go into edit make sure faces is selected we're going to select the front and the back face hit i to inset so it's going to be like our wooden frame for the window and uh, once you've inset hit i or bridge faces sorry um, and there's our window for the front there we're also going to chuck in we're going to chuck in a square window here so i'm just going to put the cursor here because this is where i want my box my cube to be we're just going to scale it right on down maybe like that um again just like that um just angle it and then um once you're happy with the size of your window um maybe I might have it sort of more central um hit the fate the house again um select a boolean pick the object picker select this cube click on apply and just check yeah we're all good um, right now with this one again we're just going to make that a little bit smaller okay um, I'm going to do control A again all transforms hit the edit um, faces so we want the front and the back we want to I to inset bada bing bada boom right click and bridge faces um, and that's our window here but also what we're going to do on our window let me just come out of that mode so on the window here what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit and then we're going to do control R oh, I'm going to put a couple of loop cuts there a couple of loop cuts a couple of <laughs> a couple of loop cuts at the bottom there so we've got those two selected, do shift and alt, select those as well. And then we're just going to scale on the Y. So this is going to be like the window frame. Okay. And again here, control R, do a couple of loop cuts, a couple of loop cuts, shift R, shift R, and scale on the Z. Beam. Now, if you go into number three, which is faces, hit that face, that, f oops, hit that face, that face. What the hell's going on there? Oh, okay, so um, go into normal. Oh, even that's not working. Okay, so we need to alt and select the top one, alt, select the bottom one, GG on the Z, and then alt, 
shift alt g g on the z and bring that one up okay so g g that will make the loop cut run up and down on the actual thing rather than you can see here our z is where we've slanted the frame but our z is still straight up so that's why it was a bit of an odd shape whereas if you do gg it will go along that slant okay um so hit number three we want that face we want that face we want to bridge faces so that was right click and bridge faces do it again the same for the top and the bottom right click bridge faces so there we go on that but we're not going to stop there because obviously we want to you know we want to add in a little bit of character so we're just going to select these edges the corners uh, maybe the inside corners and we're just going to give it a little bevel control B like so okay let's just scale it up a bit there we are like that 